Evet, Japon Ekta'yı videosundan hatırlarsanız Mustafa Bey Ares peşini alıyor dedim ama Neyse E sen çabuk almışsın plakayı Daha yani geçen ben, ben de çabuk oluyor yani Bir hafta ha. içinde ben onu hemen halledebiliyorum Almanya'da Nasıl memnun musun? Allah'a şükür Güzel ha, Biraz e, frenini falan değiştirdim Evet ki, tabi tabi e, Yeri vardı yaptık Allah'a şükür Dün İki... de Ares 5 jantlar Sen ne yaptın ya jantlar of Göbek Hadi. düşmedi değil mi? Ha. Maşallah Bugün daha sıfır Lastikleri ne yaptın? Onları da mı yeni Lastikler aldın? Lastikler de sıfır Maşallah, maşallah. İyi, çok güzel. Jantlar çok yakışmış ya. Güzel oldu değil mi? Vallahi güzel olmuş. Ha, i̇çini biraz da değiştirdim. İçinde o zaman He. da büyük bir e, ekran vardı. Evet, evet hatırlıyorum. Ben, ben bunu yartla çektim ben bunu, Aynen, hatırlıyorum. Gördüm. Aç abi bir. Ben onu geri orijinaline çevirdim abi. İyi yapmışsın. Her şeyi abi. aynı orijinal şekilde. Güzel. Güzel olmuş ya. Şurada affedersin eşek kadar ekranı vardı. Alpinle mi evet, neydi? Onu da değiştirdim. Onu da çekelim ya. Ha. Oo. <gülüyor> Artık yıldızlar. Rolls Royce RS5. <gülüyor> Rolls Royce'daki gibi yapmış tavanı. <gülüyor> güzel güzel. Zevkler güzel. Hoş. Ne ayna ne S-line yazıyor orada. Ya onu bugün o olan yapıştırdı şeyleri. Ben RS'e... Ona da yapıştırma diyemedim böyle oradan çıkartmış evet, gelmiş bakalım. yapıştırıyor. İyi bakalım. Ben onları artık RS'e çevireceğim gerekiyor. Bir tane bir ta arı lazım başına tamam. Güzel abi güzel. Allah gülü gülü kullanmayı nasip etsin. Ağabey sağ ol. Gerçi bir Porsche R34 kadar olmasa da idare ediyoruz Allah'a şükür yani. R34 ile Porsche'yi birleştirip Porsche R34 dedin güzel oldu. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Efendim selamünaleyküm nasılsınız iyi misiniz? Umarım iyisinizdir. Şimdi SML motordayız biliyorsunuz CT3'nin egzozu değişmesi için geldik. GT3 şöyle bir otobana çıktı gelecek ölçümler için. O hazır etrafı dolanıyorken sizinle şöyle içeriye bir bakalım içeride neler varmış. Evet içeriye girdiğimizde şöyle sol tarafta bir tane ofis var. Simon'ın ofisi ve çalışanların ofisi. Biraz geniş açı çekelim. Girişte bizi yeşil bir tane Hurricane Performante başlıyor arkadaşlar. <gülüyor> ya duruşu çok enteresan çok sapık bir abi ya. Bakışlara bakar mısın gözlerine? Aynada bunu gördüğünü düşün arka tarafta. <gülüyor> çok güzel araba ama bunlar normal hurrikanlara göre çok çok daha pahalı. Normal bir hurrikan mesela 30 bin 25 bin kilometredeki bir hurrikan yaklaşık olarak 175-180 bin euroya bulunurken Almanya fiyatını söylüyorum. Bunun Hollanda'ya gelmesi için mesela üzerine bir 15-20 bin daha BPM geliyor. Yani e, özel tüketim vergisi geliyor. Neyse bu performante yaklaşık 250 bin euro civarında diye e, biliyorum. Üzerinde fiyatları vesairesi yazmıyor. Çünkü müşteriden müşteriye değişik fiyat verebilir Simon. Bir galerici gibi davranmıyor da böyle işte kendi yani tanıdıkları zaten araba alıyor. Ama arabalar hep iyi durumda, hep bakılmış, e, garantili şekilde veriyor zaten. Arabalarını tanıyor yani sattığı arabayı iyi tanıyor. Şöyle sesim de gitti ya ulan. Hasta olacak zamanı oldu ki Ben hep böyle bahar aylarında şu hava değişimlerinde vesaire bir bir böyle ses gidiyor. Kendimi kötü hissetmiyorum ama bu ses olayı felaket. Evet burada da bir tane turbo var ona da bakacağız birazdan. Şöyle performant eden sonra yan taraftaki Carrera. GTS'e bakalım. Carrera 4 GTS sanırım bu. 4 çekerli versiyonu. Alınabilecek yani Carrera alınacaksa e, alınabilecek en iyi Carrera denilebilir buna. Carrera 4 GTS Cabriolet. <gülüyor> Çok iyi. Hem 4 çeker hem GTS hem Cabriolet. Mis gibi araba. Lastik boyutları GT3 ile aynı boyutta. 992 bu. Yani en son ki model diyelim. Şöyle şuradaki opsiyonlara bir bakalım. Egzoz, lift var. Süspansiyonları sertleştirme var. Start stop var. O enteresan. Komik geliyor. Böyle spor arabada start stop komik geliyor. Ama bazen de lazım olabiliyor. Çünkü araba buluşmasına oraya buraya gittiğiniz zaman bazen kuyruklar oluyor. Bekliyorsunuz falan ama e, bilmiyorum. Bazı arabalarda böyle. Şimdi arkadaşlar şu araçla bu araç aynı. İkisi de Cayman S. İkisi de 3.4 litrelik motor. Ama bu taraftakinde GT4 body kiti var. Ve üzerindekiler 911 jantlar. Yani 911 uyan büyük jantlar. 
20 lik jant var üzerinde. Şimdi sadece body kitli e, görünüm farkına bakın ikisindeki. Şu 47.000 euro civarında bu da 49.000 euro civarında. Bunu az daha alacaktım ama bizim şu an söyleyemediğim size diğer proje patlak verdi. Güzel de oldu. Onun olması çok daha iyi oldu tabii ki. Sonradan yine alabiliriz böyle bir şey ama bunu az daha alıyordum. Pazarlığında yaptık. Önce Yasin düşündü. Yasin'in içinin kırmızı olduğundan dolayı vazcaydı. <gülüyor> o vazgeçince dedim ben alır mıyım? Alacaktım ama sonra dediğim gibi diğer projemiz oldu. Çok şükür. İyi ki oldu. Bunu sonra gene buluruz alırız. Bu tarz bir şey. Evet ikisi de Cayman S dediğim gibi. Bu GT4 body kitli. Çok güzelce yapılmış. Bu body kiti almaya kalksın zaten. Dünya para kendisi. Jantlarıyla beraber. Jantlar da 3500 euro civarında. Jantlarıyla beraber arabada bir 9-10 bin euro kadar bir ekstrası var. Buna göre. İkisinde içi kırmızı. Biri beyaz biri mavi. Ama fiyatları arasında 2-3 bin euro oynuyor. Hani ben arabaya şu kadarlık şey taktım diye. O kadarlık fiyatı artmış olmuyor. Ama Hollanda'da artmış olurdu bunun fiyatı. Çok Morning, Simon. Hi, sorry for keeping you waiting. No problem. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? You're right. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. So you have a new edition? We have some new cars. Yeah, but we got empty. Like we had. You had a lot of cars. We had a lot of more cars. We were getting some more. Uh huh. But we sold a lot. We sold a lot of cars. Yeah, I've seen the Audi R8 is gone now. R8 is gone. Aventador is gone. Oh, Aventador is gone. Yeah. Uh, what else? Jesus. Um, R8, Aventador. Yeah, you had yeah, civil yeah, civil kind of nice. Um Yeah, lots of stuff. But we're getting some more cars. I'm getting another lava orange. Uh huh. Nine one point one GT3 RS. I'm getting a oh. white GT3 nine one point one. Okay. And um, another black nine one point two GT3 RS. Yeah. Oh, nine. Point two RS is hard to find. Eh? Point two RS is hard to find. Um, and very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, the prices now are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The prices now are literally crazy. We we buy for for a lot higher prices than we used to sell about uh, a year ago. Oh yeah. So you know prices are crazy, but it's not getting better. Yeah, it yeah, won't. Get, I mean, like your car, for example, yeah. we're not going to say how much you paid yeah. for it, but you can sell it a lot more expensive now. Yeah, of course. Because it, especially in Netherlands, it's, it's just high. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, now we just got this. Don't look, it's still dirty. We just got this. Okay. Uh, we just bought this car, actually. Um, it's a Turbo S. Turbo S is more affordable than GT3s, I guess. Yes. A bit more, yeah. Yeah. Turbo S is a great car for daily drive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I very guess. fast, it's very comfortable. Um, this car has is fully loaded with like ceramic brakes, extended leather package, panoramic roof. Um, it needs some love. Yeah. So it has some stone chips because they really used it. You know, they drove yeah, it. It's it's good that they used it instead yeah. of keeping in the garage. Um, but yeah, once once it's like all polished yeah. up, cleaned, and everything, it will be good to go. Nice car. We got this delivered now. Ha! <laughs> Performante. Uh, the color uh, it's called Verde Itica. It's for me the best color that Lambo can. Uh, on, on, on performance, if you look at it, uh -huh. if you look at the light. Oh. In the sun, it's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful car. It's very well specced. Um, on performance, there are a couple of very important options we have to have. What are they? One is lift system. Okay, yeah, definitely. Really. Second one, for me and the cars sell better if they have center lock. Uh -huh. um, but with center lock, you only can choose this wheel design. Oh, the center lock is on her hurricane. It's optional. It's an option. And wow. only on the Performante and I think the Evo also. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes, center lock. And the full bucket seat. I can get the case if you want. The full bucket seats. Yeah. These are the same seats you can find in the SVJ. Aventador uh -huh. SVJ. Yes, if you very, choose very the bucket cool option. seats. Yeah, and these cars, these cars currently, I mean, they go for about 290,000 euro. Woo VAT deductible, but uh, still. Yeah. And for Netherlands, this is like maybe we need to pay 40 or 50 thousand euro BPM on this car. It's crazy. We just, <laughs> oh, this Huracan is going to Netherlands. Really? Yes. This, oh. this Huracan is sold. And ah, yeah. I remember, I remember this. This is 40 thousand kilometers. 40 thousand kilometers. It's a beautiful yeah. car. It's a very well, I mean, it, for the mileage, it looks really good even from inside. And we sold it to the Netherlands. Wow. 
This was a good deal, actually. Yeah, actually, this one, since it's 2015, mm -hmm. I checked the BPM, it's around 15,000 euro, less than the GT3 I had. Yeah, you see? So this is good. Yeah, so very this good is going purchase. to one of our dealer colleagues. We sell a lot of cars to our dealers, mm. and we also buy from our S colleagues. So this is how it looks like when it is not center lock. Exactly, five, <laughs> uh, five uh, volt. Mm -hmm. But this is a regular uh, LP610. Mm -hmm. So this car, um, it was never able to be ordered in the center lock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it so wasn't even an option. Eh? No, on this one, no. 0.2 RS? 0.2 RS. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful, beautifully specced, fully auctioned, with side brakes, lift. Wow. 918 seats, extended leather package. And now you can see the difference. For example, this one has the full leather package. Full yeah. leather means, you know, the dash, like your yeah. car. Exactly. The dashboard with the stitches and the door parts. This car doesn't have, like, like my car doesn't have it. <laughs> we had it last time. It's just plastic, huh? It looks like this. So it, yeah. Yeah. From here, you can see that. Yeah, we can, uh, if you want, I can it's open good. them and you can have them inside. Yeah, and my car, you know it, and yeah. it's, uh, it's being used. But RS is RS, it's okay. RS is RS. No, uh, who, who wants to buy RS don't care about the, you know, it's leather or not, That's what you know. I, honestly, when I bought my green RS, I asked the previous owner, like, why didn't you order this option? It's like, <laughs> it's only like around 5,000 euro on a car that this price, not yeah. much. He said, you know what, it's an RS. I didn't care for luxury. Yeah, he I was, wanted it for track. Yeah. Right? So, it? yeah, it's right. But for resale value, it's nicer to have. You're right, yeah. yeah. When you have that option, it's really easy to res yeah. resell it. Yeah. But this one is beautifully expected. And then here you can see the difference. This one has PDLS, mm -hmm. so Porsche, the dynamic light system, yeah. where it's black. Oh. And this one has the regular Xenon lights. Just like mine. Like yours, where it's silver. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the first thing you can see it when the car has PDLS, when it has the black lights. Right. You see? And it looks so much better on silver compared to this. This one also has PDLS. This is also point two, right? This is also point two. Point two you can always, always recognize on the bumper, of course, but mm -hmm. the easiest way is the bonnet. Oh, okay. And you, you know, you know how you call these intakes? NAC duck. What is it? It's it's called um, it's named by it's called NACA intake. Uh -huh. You know why? This has been developed before before NASA. And this is, uh, it comes from aerospace technology, mm -hmm. and it's the best shape to get air inside. Yeah, we recognize it from the R35 GTR. Exactly. <laughs> so, NACA intakes, that's how they call them. They, I mean, in Japan, among the friends, we used to say NAC, so it's yeah. same, but yeah, same, it's same, just exactly. the pronouns are different. NAC, like. Yeah, yeah, this came as you saw it. That's yeah, the, this, they... GT4 conversion. Exactly same cars normally, right? Yes, exactly the same cars. But this looks way, way better. Yeah, because they converted it to GT4 look. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, what it needs is a slight lowering uh -huh. and some nicer wheels. Or maybe but lowering if, and some spacers. If you lower it, you have to have the lift for Netherlands. For Netherlands. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, not, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. This, this still looks way better than the other one because since the other one doesn't have the front lip, it yes. looks so it looks much very higher. High. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is this, this is, is still a, acceptable. This is a nice car for someone who likes the GT4 look but uh -huh. doesn't want to spend a hundred thousand euros on the yeah, GT4. Exactly. Half right? price. Half price. It's exactly half price. Plus, yeah. you know, originally GT4 doesn't have like PDC and nothing, and here yeah. they, they put it. You know, it's it's not. It's a decent car. It's not in perfect condition, but it already has a hundred thousand kilometers. Mm -hmm. So for that, it's in pretty good condition, for sure. What do you think about this? One of the best Carreras? <laughs> I think the GTS is the best Carrera. Yeah. Um, this is also beautifully spec with the option. The only thing this car is missing, and it's not missing, but also here you can order center lock option. Mm -hmm. When you order center lock, you have a, a center lock, you have a cross spoke wheel design. Uh -huh. And when you order the five bolt, you have like, a, uh, it's a Carrera S. Um, wheel pretty much, yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a nice car, it's a very nice car. Carbon ceramic is also option for the, these cars, yes. right? Yeah, all yeah. option. They just didn't want that. All option, yeah. We just got this car and we did, it's not even advertised yet. Oh, okay, it's not on the, on the website yet. Yeah, no, not yet. It looks amazing. You know, funny, funny enough, many of the cars don't make it to their website. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. just like, I know, I know from mine. <laughs> they don't make it to Mobili, like, you know? Yeah. We, we get them and then we have our, you know, I put the cars in my status in WhatsApp. 
Yeah. And then I put them on Instagram and only then to mobile but it's it's it's easier to sell from those, right? I mean yeah. mobility is like a bit more like you know have to it's a lot it's time consuming. Time consuming. Most of the time, like one guy called me now when I was in the car on the mm -hmm. phone and he wants a GT3 RS, 991.1. Oh the okay. White one. Okay. And we are getting a white one. Okay. So he said send me an invoice and I'll deposit it right away. Wow. It's not even here. I remember that conversation from somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's, it's very, very hard to get cars right now. Yeah. We get them from everywhere. Like, wherever I can find them, I'll buy them. Okay, not yeah. only Germany. No, no, no, no. Germany, if I would buy only cars from Germany, the show would be empty. Oh, okay. okay. You, you can. You all can around the world, let's say. Everywhere. Yeah, all around the world. Is it your own bike? No, I don't, I don't ride bikes. I would kill myself on a bike. Really? I don't, I don't ride bikes. Right? <laughs> I it's love a, bikes. Actually, we, we, we, we, sold, we sold a Huracan and we took this bike as a deposit. Okay. Like they only the, didn't, this one? Or no, the, another black one. Oh, the other one. The, okay. I remember. The owner didn't want it anymore, so we calculated it for a couple of thousand euros uh -huh. and then we took it. But it already sold as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is sold too. Yeah, it was sold. I was wondering like, what if you can't sell this, blah, blah, but it's no, sold already. No, he it's, can. It's, it's, okay. a, it's, a nice, uh, it's a nice bike. Ducati is like the yeah. Ferrari or the Lamborghini of bikes, You're right. Bikes, right? You're right. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So awesome. today we're going to modify your car, huh? Yeah. You need to awesome. install the exhaust. Exhaust. What about the wheels? Wheels will come later, they later. said. Yeah. Okay. They couldn't make it so on today, time. So today, exhaust, tune, Yeah. everything. The only one thing is we still don't have the proper electricity connection. So the yeah, dyno is yeah. not running. So we're using Insoric. You know yeah, Insoric? Yeah. It also he works. just explained me, yeah. And... Um, you see, in my car, it uh, looks... Uh, it looks amazing, seriously. Yeah, but most this color is really nice. The color is nice, but most of the time, as you can see, all those <laughs> flies on the front. So I'm driving yeah, it's, it. it's just to cover the number plate so police cannot, you know. Exactly. Yeah. It's good purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is just from, from, from two days of driving. Oh, right? yeah. But I drive it hard. Like, you know, that's what it's good. Work. So, yeah, wheels. We, Silver wheels looks really good on the green car. It's funny enough, I had those wheels from my ultraviolet point one. Uh -huh, yeah, I remember that. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna slap these on. Uh -huh. And it's a hate it or love it thing. I think, I think black wheels go with the car better. But. I think silver wheels really pop. Like when yeah, I go to exactly. the Nürburgring, everybody recognizes my car right away because of the wheels. Exactly. So yes. I like them. Yeah. And it has the small Manta, the small Manta kit, uh -huh. which means it has the Manta suspension. It mm -hmm. has uh, brake discs, pads, brake fluid, and the stain, the steel uh, brake lines. Yeah. This is especially for RS wheels, right? Yeah. No, no. This is, we can make them also for. There's another set here in black for a regular GT3. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. it's also forged. Yeah, it's about a half a kg lighter. Actually, the rear is 800 grams lighter than stock. It's good. But it's aluminum, not magnesium. When it is um, rotational mass, it's, it differs. It's yes. important. Yes. It's Mostly you feel it when you steer in. Mm -hmm. You steer the car in, that's when you feel that the, the, the front axle is a little lighter. Yeah. For like for normal mass, it looks uh, it sounds funny when you say uh, 800 yeah, yeah. grams, but when it is rotational mass exactly. on the tire, yeah. it's important. Yeah, and look at the mileage on my car. Now it's like 51,000. <laughs> drive this a little bit more, make it a bit more old so I can buy it. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm gonna drive it like... Look at this, 51,000. Know? And you know, hard usage, huh? No. Track usage, yeah. everything, but... The car has a proof warranty. I renew it every two years. Like, good thing is it's been used in track and there's no problem with the car. It means it proved itself already. So it's good it car. It works, exactly. Yeah. It's a good car. You, you, don't want to, you don't want to buy a car that sits in the garage for a long time. Exactly. And yeah, as I say, I'm driving it. Yeah. yeah. And this, this car, uh, it has also VAT deductible. And I got offered for this car already 215,000 euro. Ooh, good. And I said no. You said no, Because okay. what am I going to buy? Yeah, I mean... What am I going to buy? Just an, another RS. Yeah, but like I have to put like 20, yeah. 30, 40k on top. Yeah. You don't no? need to. This is good. Good daily. You're d using this as daily, right? Almost. When the weather is nice, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, you know, I, take it, I take it out. I take it, you can see in the brakes, you know, that yeah. they got hot. I take it on notch life. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the signs. Yeah. On the front, yeah. And these are pretty much new discs as well. The brake is, is oh. yeah, it just 
just one day no traffic please. <laughs> and the rest uh, i would call it spirited driving yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's nice great great i love it so how did you how did you get along with your gt3 how was your gt3 experience it's awesome Compared it's so awesome that um it's so relaxing in the car i came almost uh 2050 kilometers uh, 250 kilometers here and because you have the comfort package yeah it's, it's comfort like package car to drive. I, I wasn't tired after the drive it was it's good but once you get in the porsches and gt3s you ask like um can it be better yeah what what is the other option? RS. I you, <laughs> you go with the RS. You, you, can, you can talk to my girlfriend. Yeah. Because she drives all cars, you know, um, and she drove all GT3s and uh, everything, Lambo, whatever, you know, because she works yeah. with me in the business. So whenever yeah. we have to pick up a car, drop a car, she doesn't. So just recently, she the first time she drove um, that silver RS. Uh huh. And then she called me, she said, I want to cry. So, oh shit, what happened? He said, this is the best car in the world. Really? Seriously, I, when she come, comes out, I'll ask her. Okay. okay. And then um, I made her drive this with the Manta suspension, everything. And then she said, this is again, something like crazy. Oh. And uh, she, she really loves like M3s, M2s, you know? Uh -huh. And yeah. she said, you know what? After driving this, everything else is garbage. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's really... I, I, I told the same thing when I drove my And it's a GT3. problem and I tell everyone, remember I told you, yeah. if you're not ready to buy, don't drive it. Yeah, you're right. Because when you drive it, you you just, like you get into another car, and You'll you know just... there are many good cars, but you drive this and then you just, with all my respect, but you get disappointed. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's why I was thinking like, after GT3, what can it nothing. be? Nothing. It, it can be GT3 RS, Only. Not, nothing else. i give you an example. One of my very dear friends and customers, he had the similar car in Lizard Green. And now he drives a Huracan. And he said, after this season, he sells it as a GT3 again. <laughs> yeah, he's right. <laughs> it's just like, like he said, the... if you go, to, if you go to, the, to the city to show off, yes, Lambo yeah. is better. But... For for you me, for me, Porsche is way better. The GT3 GT3 RS is way better than Huracan. It's uh, yeah, Huracan is a nice car, of course, good car, good looking car, yeah, and, good and, looking car. And they are, <laughs> yes, and they are good because Audi technology. So the engines, yeah. everything is perfect, no problems. But it's, it just <laughs> doesn't drive like this. Yeah, and Nothing. the visibility is like. You can't see anything. That's exactly and from the steering wheel. The top is like this much and, space. And, and Aventador is even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's just the best car in the world. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing you can say about that. It's the best car in the world. Simon, don't drift out of us, sir. What engine do you have inside? Six point two V eight LS. Oh my God! You have Corvette engine yes. inside. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's full <laughs> NA. Look at this. Um, with a fast LSXR, LSX high ram, 103 mm throttle body, HGK carbon intake. Wow. Long tube headers, we're pushing around 600 horsepower, NA. NA, 600 and, horsepower. And the car is 1,255 kilograms. Wow. 1,255. What? <laughs> so it's really, I should have All been. stripped out? Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the car. Have a look inside, come from here. These all our clothes are here, you see? Full carbon fiber dashboard, everything. Oh my god. Look at this. Yeah. It's a prospect drift car, so I can compete with this car anywhere in the world. Nice. And uh, yeah, we are actually offering offering a drift taxi rides. So uh -huh. Construction here as you can see. Um, drift taxi rides, drift shows, and uh, I'll probably gonna take the car to Dubai this winter. Okay. To drift it there. Nice. Yeah. So it's uh it's crazy. But the engine didn't fit, so we have to cut the bonnet. <laughs> well, it looks cooler this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. you did pretty good cutout here. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It actually looks quite epic. Yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> awesome car. Arkadaşlar böyleydi. Simon'la güzel bir muhabbet oldu. Arabalar arasında muhabbet etmiş olduk. Ee, bizim GT3'yi beklerken o da birazdan gelecek ve egzoz işine başlayacağız. Ama siz egzoz videosunu herhalde öncesinde izlemişsinizdir diye düşünüyorum. İzlemediyseniz izleyin. <gülüyor> evet, e, çok güzel bir ares. Kısaca şunu söyledik yani Porsche'ye bir kere geçince GT3'ye özellikle bir kere geçince sonraki adım sadece GT3 RS olabilir. Ne Huracan ne Ferrari ne o bu olmaz yani. Çünkü bunun e, sürüşü zevki çok farklı çok başka. Diğer arabalar tabii ki güzel. Huracan çok çok daha güzel araba belki görünüş olarak. Ama yani bizim kafada bir adam için kullanış amaçlı alan bir insan için e, yok. Huracan Huracan güzel araba. Reklam arabası, gösteriş arabası. 
çok güzel promosyonlar yapılabilir. Çok güzel e, işte recognized olunabilir. Yani seni çok fazla kişi daha tanıyabilir. Ama GT3 ya da RS, RS zaten başka bir dünya. Yani şu araba başka bir dünya arkadaşlar. Çok başka bir dünya. Evet. Böyle. Şimdi fark ediyorsunuzdur yani şu Porsche'nin şurası her zaman yüksektir. O yüzden görünüm, görüntü, ön taraftan aldığınız etrafı görme kabiliyetiniz spor arabada hızlı giderken bunlar çok önemli şeyler. Acayip önemli şeyler. Evet. Bir ses duydum uzaktan acaba dedim ciddi değil mi? Değil herhalde. Neyse. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoş kalın. Hoşça kalın. Allah'a emanet olun. Sonraki videoda görüşmek üzere. Çok güzel bir gün oldu. Öncelikle onu söyleyeyim. Simon'ın sayesinde. Simon adam ya. Delikanlı adam var ya. Çok güzel. Çıkarken gözlük hediye etti. Gözlükler 10 numara arkadaşlar. Gerçek karbon fiber gözlükler 20 gram. İnanabiliyor musunuz? 20 gram ve e, sağlam. Gerçek karbon çünkü. Bunu dedi hani isteyen olursa linkini paylaşırsın dedi. Videonun altında koyayım ben de. İsteyen olursa alır. Bana Midnight Purple yani biraz morumsu e, renkli olan. Polarized bu arada. Morumsu renkli olandan bana hediye etti. Biliyorum Midnight Purple aracımız olduğunu. Sağ olsun. E, çok ince düşünce. Ondan bize e, hediye etti. Siz de check etmek isterseniz, bakmak isterseniz bakabilirsiniz ama şöyle bir takayım mı? Çok da bir güneş yok şu an ama ben yine de bir takayım. Tabii şu an görünmüyor değil mi? Yani karanlık zaten güneş yok ki. İçerisi de karanlık ama <gülüyor> purple renkli. Çok güzel ya. 10 numara. Karbon. <gülüyor> Çok hafif. Designed in Germany diyor. Bayağı fark ediyor. Benim şu ray benlerle ağırlık farkı bayağı var gibi. Bunlar da aynı stil ray ben. Ama bu şimdi Midnight Purple. Ha çok iyi. Aynada bak bundan. <gülüyor>